This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. I'm Alex, and this is, of course, the Ramble. We go until midnight tonight in New York, New York. And here we go. Yes, and we are, uh, let's see here. I think we're out of sync, right? Well, the only way we're going to get into sync. See, what happens is when I run Zoom, and I talk to you on my regular camera. For some reason, uh, it's out of stink. Sink. It's not out of stink as much as it normally is tonight. But still, it's there. And uh, no, it's okay. It's all right now. Uh, but uh, it, 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 I, it's vexing me, and I haven't figured out how to fix it. Uh, the best way to fix it probably is for me to go back to Skype, but I'm not going to do that. So... We'll just put up with it, okay? We'll just uh, live with it if we can, and uh, whatever. Anyway, it is that time of the um, <laughs> that time of the month where I get my period, or as it's better known, uh, 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 our good friend uh, Phil Meyer. Hello, Phil. How are you? Wait a minute. Let me just. Uh, there we go. There you go. That's you. Let me get my arrow out of there. My cursor. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh no. Now he has no audio this week. Mm hmm. Okay. Now I hear. Now you're. Now you're. Can, yeah. Now you're okay. Yeah. Is it uh, creating that? No. Uh, no. No. No problem. No problem. All yeah, right. You know. But you're wor you're worse than Jeff when it comes to. Uh, getting well, you know, there, it seems as though when you first when I first check in, however my Zoom is set up, it's not so good. Yeah. Uh, when I do set up my board. I'm going to have the guy redo my Zoom. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Well, yeah. that's, that's okay. Yeah. Get it going straight. Yeah. Hey, how yeah. you doing? I'm okay. You know, I just got yeah. my blood test back from my doctor, and he says he wants me to have another blood test in two or three weeks. Did he say anything about staying away from garlic and not going out at, uh, during the day and, and yeah, letting yeah, the right, sun hit Right, you? right, right. But anyway, I, I, it just gets me. You know, I mean, I... I I, I, I don't want, I, I, you know, I know I have, I have some things that are a little high or a little low or whatever, but leave me alone, all right? You know, two to three weeks, let's do it again, right? Yeah. He wants to see if anything changes. Well, you know, I mean, it's expensive to be a doctor in New York. I mean, yeah. well, it, in the, and then what happens is if he thinks, oh, you, know, you may have something like lymphoma or something like that, all right? Let's say that's the worst possible thing. He'll send you to another doctor. Well, it, it you know that doctor. And, and you sent get into him. The, you get into this doctor mill. Uh, mm -hmm. And I was talking to I was talking to Debbie Durst about it today. Yeah, you how's know. how's Will? Will's uh, he had a little problem yesterday where he wound up back in the emergency room. But really? it's, so he's out of it and it's okay. It's oh, fine. did did he come home? Uh, no, he hasn't been home in two years almost. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the emergency room trip was from the. Uh, it, it, it's something to do with his kid. It turned out to be something with his kidney or something, but he f felt very weak and uh, oh, I don't know, you know. But he's back in the in the nursing home, so that that's good news. Yeah. All right. The the other thing was that uh, um, where what when, uh, there's one other thing I want to tell. Oh yeah, I got to tell you, uh, Jack didn't do a show last night. Last night I come in here at, at one o'clock to like post the show, and I notice he didn't run a show. Why is that? And I'm going usually calls me and tells me, so I write him this nasty note saying, "At least you could tell me." And he oh. writes me back, "I'm in the hospital again." Oh, now you feel good. <laughs> so then I felt like a piece of shit. Okay, right. and I wrote him and apologized profusely, and he said that he fell down again. Wow, had another fall. This is the third one in like, I don't know, what, three months or something? Yeah. So uh, they're keeping him over. They kept him overnight, and then they were going to do an MRI with him today, and it was taking forever for them to do the MRI, and da da da, da yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, it, it just, uh, uh, so he will oh. not be doing a show tonight. 
So what you're saying is that the GabNet staff is falling apart. That's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm having slight pee problems here, too. You know, slight. Well, don't do it now. No, 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 no. Yeah, you know, I've been taking those those pee pills, and I think maybe they're affecting my. What is it like, tamulosin or something? Yeah, yeah. I but, take that too. Yeah, but I'm getting a little bit not a not a sting, but kind of a little bit of a bite when I pee, and I'm wondering if that has to do with the tamulosin. Uh, could have been from the happy ending you got at the massage. No, 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 no. no. But anyway, <laughs> so I don't know. You know, it's one thing or another. You know, uh, I often said, uh, uh, never. Uh, what was my latest saying? As you get older, you begin to realize you should never overestimate a good fuck or underestimate a good pee. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I'm, I'm, I'm always happy with a good pee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, have you been watching the news at all? No, I haven't been watching the news. I've been, I've been avoiding the news like it was the plague, which it kind of is. Yeah. Well, I got a feeling, uh, regardless of the way... Uh, things go in uh, Wisconsin that there's going to be some riots in the next day or two. Uh, there's there's a case going on with this kid who Rittenhouse, uh, Rittenhouse, yeah. right? He uh, he inserted himself into uh, a protest, uh, says that he was there for uh, positive purposes, but basically. He didn't need to be there. Well, you, you come know? across state lines with a rifle. I think maybe. Oh, no, that's wrong. What? Uh, what they proved was that the rifle was always in Wisconsin. Oh, okay. The rifle was the right length to be owned by someone of his uh, age mm -hmm. and, and type. Uh, and that the judge threw that out because it was a charge that it was not a correct charge. Mm -hmm. But uh, the media, of course, won't tell you that. The, jur the jurors... Uh, I kind of believe that there are protesters and they're being very, very loud and the jurors can hear them. Mm -hmm. And I think the jury is being intimidated into uh, possibly not acquitting uh, if the facts in, uh, prove to them that he should be acquitted. Now, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm willing to wait for the jury to decide one way or another, but I don't think that the well, jury should be intimidated. How do you like the fact that how many people did he kill? Um Two, two, two and, and killed wounded and one. One he took his arm off. One he, uh, yeah. And do you notice they're all Jewish? The names are, but uh, I don't think they are. Oh, you, the names are, but you don't think they are. Well, you know, people could have German when names. When I hear names like, I don't know what the names are, but when you hear a name like Rosenbaum, you pretty much assume. Yeah, but, you yeah. know, uh, Grice Kritz and, and, and so forth. But maybe there are a lot of stupid Jews that want to go out and oh, protest uh, Phil, in Phil, the street Phil, Phil, Phil. Oh, because they're left-wing Jews. You're not a stupid human being. Why do you act like one? Well, look, these people are out there burning down their city. Uh, is, is, is that a, a demonstration of, of intelligence? Does that people? give him the right to come from another state? Well, the state is 20 miles away, and his father lives in Kenosha, and his mother lives in Illinois, uh, uh, out and Dura, Illinois, and Gore, I don't know. But uh, anyway, it's 20 miles away. So he lives with his mother. He was storing the AK or the uh, uh, AR-15 uh, in Wisconsin, so he didn't take it over state line. And, but on why the other did, hand— Why did he store it there? Uh, I don't think he was allowed to own it uh, under Illinois law. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but um, the, the, you know what the what the issue is is you, you've been in protests. I've been in protests. Uh, I uh, did some photojournalism when they had the Occupy movement in Oakland, mm -hmm. but I went there at seven o'clock in the morning when everybody was sleeping. I wasn't there when they were throwing rocks and and uh, and uh, you know hitting each other with baseball bats uh, like seven eight o'clock at night. I was there at seven in the morning and you know they they were all sleeping it off. But I was taking pictures, and uh, you know I I don't insert myself in those kinds of situations. If you know it's not going to be a, a healthy place to be, you stay the hell out. I mean. 
So what are uh, you saying? If, Rittenhouse is guilty? No, I'm saying if he's guilty of anything, are you trying, he's guilty. Wait, 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 are you trying to excuse his actions? No. What I'm saying is if he's guilty of anything, he's guilty of being a stupid idiot. Uh, and and he, he's a guilty. He, he's guilty of shooting and killing two people and injuring another. Uh, have you ever heard of the self-defense? Uh, 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 you know that argument only goes so far. Well, you know, it, it, I, it, it isn't. I don't think you can claim self-defense when you went somewhere where there's trouble to begin with. Well, not you know, and then all of a sudden somebody's like, uh, you know, uh, coming up to you and threatening you in some way or shouting at you, and you think that's threatening you. Or hitting you over the head with a skateboard twice, or trying to grab your gun, well, or saying I'm going to cranium this guy, or uh, I mean there there was. There, no, but you know, who said they said that? Uh, I think they had it on tape. No, I think Rittenhouse has said it. Uh, well, this he did say it. Saying. Yes, but there, there was other things on it, tape, it, it, and even even the guy he shot that lived. Uh, said that he had pointed his gun at Rittenhouse. <laughs> you know, uh, I, if well, you, you haven't know, watched, you know, it you well. always have the option of doing something in that kind of situation, running in the opposite direction. He did. It's a little. It, well, then what? He, he, they have it on video. He, he, he ran did. at what yeah. after after shooting? Uh, no. Uh, well, wait a minute. Um, well, well, duh, yeah. What? Uh, I, I, Boy. I, I can't, I can't remember if it was before or after well, the shooting. I'm sure it was after, but I mean, the thing is, I believe in a, uh, in a martial art thing. I was taught years ago that I always use whenever I'm in a dangerous situation. It's called run foo. Oh, uh, and not, not plead for your life. Uh, n <laughs> that, that too. If w well, worse comes to worst, you know. I don't know what uh, you know what happened there, but there there were aggressors. I'm telling you, I I stay away from these kinds of things, and you know because if you know that it's going to be a problem, you stay away. But mm -hmm. there were no cops. But it's written not it wasn't Rittenhouse's uh, place to enforce the law. It wasn't or, Rittenhouse's place to go out of his way by coming from another state to go to a demonstration. Yeah, it, it's like going from. Uh, from uh, White Plains to... Uh, I don't uh, care if that's... You had to make a concerted effort to go to this place to get in on this demonstration, and when you went there, I think that he was ready for action. Well, that's what you think. But on the other hand, uh, he he was stupid for going there in the first place. That I, that I grant. The guy killed two people, Phil. Do you, he protect himself. He protected himself. Uh, do you himself. really believe that? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Uh, but, you know, we'll see if the jury believes it. I wasn't sitting there through all those hours of testimony, and, uh, and I didn't see all the facts and all the videos and hear, and, and hear uh, you know, all the witnesses. But those jurors did. And, uh, you know, I do know that it appeared that the prosecution was inept that their, their uh, uh, ability to make this case was... Didn't the judge uh, uh, argue against the, uh, the, defense, uh, the prosecution at one point? He like, took them to task for something. Well, he, he, uh, they made some motions, and he denied those motions, and they introduced some things that uh, he said not to bring up, and he mm -hmm. chastised them for that. Mm -hmm. He also chastised them for, the, uh, for exercising his right to remain silent. And, and so the... Uh, prosecution said, well, you must be guilty because you didn't say anything. And, uh, but, you know, we have a constitutional right uh, against self-incrimination and, and a right mm -hmm. to remain silent, and he, he did. I mean, the guy was a good witness for a 17, 18-year-old kid. I was certainly impressed by his ability to not lose his cool and to... Uh, and to cry on cue, to cry on cue. I don't know if it was crying on cue, but, you know, it, it's very easy to be emotional at that. It's funny. That they, they show the Rittenhouse, they show the Rittenhouse uh, trial, yeah. and he goes into his bubbling, crying jag that he went through, which I'm sure his lawyer cued him to do. And then you go to that trial down in, uh, I can't remember where it is, where they, they, these uh, uh, two guys, well, it's one guy, shot a black guy and two other people were the accomplices to Avery it. in Georgia yeah, yeah, yeah Avery Avery yeah. uh, Aubrey a, a, yeah. yeah anyway that situation 
The guy, the guy, the guy got up on the stand. The guy's been charged with the murder. He decided to get on the stand, and he started crying. Okay. Well, I got a feeling that it's guy new, is a supremacist. You but, get, if you get a feeling uh, he know, is. Yeah. You know, but if 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 guys are sensitive, they say it's phony. Look at Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh shed a few tears during his uh, when he was being accused. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, you know I, what's what's wrong with showing some emotion? The only thing it takes for a white guy to get away with something is to start crying. <laughs> I think that was a line I, from Saturday Night Live this weekend. Yeah, well, of course, yeah. you know, uh, but I, I, I'm, uh, I, I think a lot of people are are following this. And, uh, you know, do I think Rittenhouse, I'm not? Well, I know you don't watch the news, but I, I don't think Rittenhouse is the smartest guy in the world. I think that uh, he put himself in a position that he shouldn't have. But on the other hand, if you're in that position, do you have a right to defend yourself? Hasn't he been been seen hanging out with like white supremacists and things like oh, that? That, too? Uh, that that uh, some some podcast that he was on. Uh, well, I'm not a thousand percent sure that that isn't a fabrication, but, uh, well, you know, no, of course, if it doesn't agree with you, it's gotta be a fabrication, right? Of course. No? Of course. Uh, you, you know what this is done? This is done watching this trial. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking of myself, you know, I, uh, have, I've been part of a, Oh, no, it all comes down to you. Doesn't it Phil? It sure does. Yeah. I can see myself sitting in, in, uh, Rittenhouse's, uh, chair. Because, you know, I'm armed, and I am uh, there providing safety uh, to uh, a synagogue, that, uh, a Chabad, that I, that I help. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's in Berkeley, and there's a lot of crazy people around Berkeley. I had some contact. Okay, but that's a, that's a different situation, Phil. Oh, but I could end up shooting somebody, and I could end up in the same seat that, that he is. That Would you think out. twice before shooting them? It depends. I could make the decision based on the events that are happening. So mm -hmm. if myself or someone else was in imminent danger of bodily harm, I wouldn't hesitate. And I would do what would be necessary to stop the threat. Uh, not necessarily do I want to kill anyone, but I want to stop the threat. That is the words that Rittenhouse used as well, but those are, that is the law. You know, uh, you don't you don't want to just kill somebody. You're not there to, to be a vigilante. Well, the laws the laws are are not meant, however, to protect people from carrying a gun and then using it and then claiming self defense as their well, excuse. But that's you know, I mean, he could have said that he was mentally deranged and uh, uh, you know, but he he's using a defense mm -hmm. of self defense. And it'll be up to the jury to decide whether they believe him or not. It's not mm -hmm. up to me. I wasn't sitting there, but uh, I do. I, I do. You know, have pause, even if I'm a dead to rights correct, and I save a whole synagogue of of uh, of people from being shot up by some crazed guy, mm -hmm. like uh, happened in Texas. Uh, even if I do that, you know, I'm going to be sued. I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be charged initially criminally until they can sort things out, mm -hmm. and uh, it's I'm going to be in a position. I have insurance for this. Uh, it's uh, it's called USCCA. So I have unlimited defense insurance, and I have two hundred fifty thousand dollars in bail insurance, and I can pick the attorney of my choice. Mm -hmm. But I never want to be in that position. So I thought about it, and I said, you know. I really don't have any levels of defense when I'm doing this between fisticuffs and a gun. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to buy a taser. And I did buy a body cam so that uh, if something came down, I had everything on video. But uh, I'm going to get a taser. You know, if, if I'm in a position where mm -hmm. uh, well, I can... I certainly see that as a better option. Than a gun. Well, it's it's one step. You, know, you see, as a police officer, you might have to go directly to deadly force. I mean, if you're met with deadly force, you you, you don't you don't pull out your taser. Mm -hmm. But if there's if there's a way, at least that, if there are women around, what, what, what do you mean? You don't pull out your taser if you're. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well, most tasers are yellow, uh, and uh, you know wouldn't match the uh, the, mm -hmm. the the complexion. But uh, anyway, 
you know, I so you know, as I as I watch this trial, mm-hmm. I, I begin to question: Do I really want to be in that position? You know, do I want to continue doing what I'm doing at the Chabad's? Uh, and um, you know, I think it's it's a good thing to do, and it, you know, I, they appreciate it, and I think it's a mitzvah on my part. But on the other hand. I can't see myself going through what uh, this kid's going through right now. Um, you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I mean, I think he caused it himself. Well, he, he you know, I mean, uh, whether he's whether he's right or wrong, whether he's innocent or guilty, forget that that question for a second. I think the kid was just stupid. Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, you can't prosecute him for being stupid. Uh, but uh, well, you can prosecute him for the actions he takes while being stupid. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Now, you know, there was a guy in Florida, Zimmerman, another Jew, or at least a Jewish name, and uh, you know, he he chased down some kid, and uh, they grappled over a gun, and then he, you know, it's the same thing. He inserted himself in into that situation. Uh, you know, uh, you know something. I got to tell you. Uh, uh, years ago, there was a guy named Bernie uh, Getz. Yes, he w- uh, he uh, rented your apartment. He rented my apartment. He went down from my apartment. Mm-hmm. Not, I wasn't living there anymore. But he went le- left that apartment. He went to the subway, and right? he went to the subway, and then he shot up some kids. Why? Because a kid pulled a screwdriver on him and was going to stab him. Now, Bernie Getz had a gun, and I don't think it was legally possessed, mm-hmm. and he shot him. Now, I remember well, in New York... Wait a minute, hold on a sec. You know, why did he go down to that subway? Because he wanted to catch a subway ride? Bernie, yeah. Bernie Getz was looking for trouble that night. Well, I... He maybe. was looking for a reason to use that gun. Maybe. Okay. So, I mean, if, if you assume that maybe that's a possibility... Uh, there are a lot of people like that who uh, who say, oh, well, I don't mean any trouble, but I'm taking my gun with me, and they can hardly wait to use it. Well, you know, that that, that um, surmises uh, that uh, their state of mind, and we don't know what that is. So, you know, I, I carry a gun, uh, not all the time, but, you know, if I feel I'm going into an By area, the way, he, he did say, uh, Getz asserted that they had a, uh, a screwdriver. Correct. The other three people that were with this guy said he didn't. Yeah, of course. They were his friends. Well, they, well, I mean, who are you going to believe? I'm not, are you going to believe Bernie Getz? Why not? Necessarily? Why? Because he's white? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, at least you admit it, Phil. No, be, because he was protecting himself. I mean, everything comes down to race. You know, we see this tribalism that uh, comes from the left that if you don't agree then therefore you're wrong and you should be punished for it. And everything, they pull the I'm race to card. The, I'm to the I, left and I don't feel that way. Oh, th- that's why we're friends. Uh, but, you know, if you Not look much at, longer. <laughs> <laughs> why? You, you, you're, uh, did you get a uh, death sentence? No, no, no. <laughs> All right. So, you know, you see what's going on in, in Kenosha right now. You see the intimidation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, and that's, you know, it, this kid killed two white people, mm-hmm. probably Jewish. Uh, he wounded another white person. Now, they're saying they're, they're making it a race thing because the original riot was over uh, a race, a black kid being killed by was it a cop. Uh, so, you yeah. know. So that's why there were riots originally, but they're taking this further and saying that what Rittenhouse did is a racial thing, and and, and I don't I don't think it was. I think he was stupid, but uh, I don't think it was racial. Well, I, it, it, he certainly didn't shoot two, some black people. Oh, you imagine if he did? N- no, but I'm saying he didn't. No, but he did probably shoot a couple of Jews. Yeah, and one of them was a rapist. Uh, another, the other one, one of was them a was child, a rapist. Yeah, a, a child molester, and he and he and he uh, and he had domestic abuse, and I believe it was rape, but he was a child molester. I haven't heard that. Of, but of then boy. again, I must be wrong. Of, I haven't of, I haven't paid enough attention to this thing okay. that I can uh, I can uh, uh, 
refute well, that. But, they were but I'll bet you I got callers that can refute it. Okay, they were both felons, mm -hmm. and uh, one of them uh, was a uh, uh, was uh, supposedly uh, went after uh, eight to eleven year old boys. I mean, there was these guys are not nice guys. One of the guys had taken off his ankle bracelet because he was under house arrest. He was a felon, and he was in possession of a gun. And this is one of the guys that he shot and killed. So, uh, you know, they weren't very nice guys. I doubt they were Jewish because Jewish people don't have a record unless you're uh, uh, Bernie Madoff. Wait, but Jewish people don't carry guns. Oh, wait a minute, Phil. I forgot you're Jewish. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I was born that way. But, you know, it's... Um, the, they want to defund the police. They want to uh, take away your ability to to, uh, to defend yourself. And uh, you know most of the most of the gun crime mm -hmm. is in cities that don't allow guns. The yeah. highest murder rates, the highest gun crime, is, is all in uh, you know, Chicago, New York. Well, let me ask you one other question. Of something that's in the news: This guy Gosar, who's a, a, a congressman who uh, sent out I, a picture of him decapitating o AOC. I didn't see that. But, well, you know, today I, today he is like only about the 16th person in the history of the Congress to be censured. Well, that's that that's good. And by the way, this may, may amaze you or not amaze you. He's a Republican. Yeah, Sarah Silverman uh, you know, uh, had a decapitated head of Donald Trump. Do you know something? I know that she's, she's not everybody a, everybody Go out and get yourself a drink. What, it wasn't Sarah Silverman? No, it wasn't. Which one was it? Which it was uh, that, uh, that uh, what's her name? I don't, I didn't, never liked her. Uh, the uh, uh, the, the woman who took over for Joan Rivers when Joan Rivers died. Uh, I'm trying to remember her name now, but oh, no, Rivers. it wasn't Sarah Silverman. Uh, well, it was like her. No, no, it was. Phil, well, you're wrong. The Jew. You're you gotta wrong. gotta blame the Jew. Blame the Jew. It wasn't Sarah Silverman. <laughs> God yeah. damn it. Uh, hey, listen, will you stick around? Yeah, sure. Well, let's, uh, let's bring some of these other people in. First, let's get rid of your, your name under your picture because right. uh, everybody now knows who you are and they can come get you. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. And uh, we have some people entering. Who is, who is oh, uh, Jerry D? I don't know, don't know who Jerry D is. Wait a minute. Uh, Jerry, would you let us see your full face there? Your camera's a little off there yeah there you go oh 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 well there's trucker steve jerry d is there and norman seltzer are you there norman i'm i'm having seltzer <laughs> norm oh there's jerry d yes i recognize you jerry you've called the show before haven't you uh, uh you you've called the show haven't you uh yeah we hear you muted no, he's not muted. Hmm. Can you hear us, Jer uh, Jerry? I'm right here. Okay, there you go. And Norman Seltzer, are you there, Norman? If I don't hear your voice soon, I'm going to get rid of you. Well, you got rid of yourself. Okay, fine. Wait, you, you can't hear me? Uh, no, I can oh, hear you, Jerry. It was this Norman okay. that, that was over there that I, I, I was suspicious of. You know. <laughs> and hello to Kevin. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hi, Alex. It was Kathy Griffin. It was Kathy Griffin. Right, yeah. you're absolutely. Did you get that right. part? I don't know. It's kind of delayed. Yeah, not a Jew. <laughs> I think Kathy. Phil, you, ignorant, Phil you ignorant slut. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Have you heard anything in this uh, thing with the written house thing that one of the guys was a child molester or whatever? I don't know. Uh, no, I didn't hear that part. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't believe anything Phil says because he gets it wrong. I mean, you know, yes, yeah, Sarah Silverman, she held the decapitated head of the president. <laughs> the Griffin, whatever. They all look alike, those comedians. They're all the same. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and by the way, Kathy Griffin hasn't worked since. You know, no, uh, she's popped her head up a few times, but hasn't done much since. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she profusely apologized. In fact, she went on and did the white person ploy of crying. Yeah, you know, um, but uh, have you been watching any of this written house trial at all? Yeah. What What do you think? No, I, I think uh, 
I don't know. I don't see Phil's justification for it. I, obviously, I don't. What, just, what justification, Kevin? Well, you know, your thing where he was self-defending himself. I don't think, personally, I don't think he, he deserved to defend himself because uh, just the fact that he went down there in the first place is not a reason to defend yourself. He, he went down there. I could see it. I could see self-defense if he was... Uh, going down there, didn't know anything that was going on and getting himself a bag of beef jerky or something, and all of a sudden he was, you know, defending himself. But uh, the fact that he went down there and was going to play, you know, cop, uh, I don't think that was a reason for him to be defending himself. Well, no. Uh, and he, he went he, down there to to play cop, and that was not the reason to have a gun and go down there and start stirring up crap right. and he, then all of a sudden he gets into a situation where he has to defend himself well, let me get well, this straight he was going down there because he felt that he wanted to go protect the store owners correct yeah and that was not his job and that was not the his job, job was to sit at home and watch it on tv if you wanted to do anything yeah you don't become a vigilante phil no that's not his job he didn't get hired to do that yeah and so he has no justification to strap on arms and go down there and then play. Oh, I I was defending myself. That's that's no. It's, it's not. Yeah. And I'm not. You know, I'm not anti-gun or anything. But, you know, that's not the reason you do you do that. Well, I think Phil would have to agree as a former cop that you don't. You know, you know. He said it himself. He wouldn't go down into that situation. And you don't like people being vigilantes and taking the law into their own hands, which he correct. Was so to yeah, do. and did, didn't his mother drive him there? Should she be held accountable too? Well, she. I'll tell you, she's feeling real guilty about now. You know. Yeah. So you know, I mean, um, I didn't. Did the, did the verdict come through? I didn't even know. No, I don't think so. No. Uh, uh, Anthony Uber was jailed for domestic violence. Joseph Rosenbaum oh, wait, was wait, a, wait, wait, wait. Was you a said... pedophile. Oh. This is Snopes. Joseph Rosenbaum was a pedophile. Gage Grusquitz, uh was arrested and charged with burglary, amongst other crimes. And, uh, and uh, yeah. This so... is according to Snopes. Now, Snopes usually reports lies. No, this who, is... Who are those people? Uh, those were the victims, uh, uh, supposedly, of uh, 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 Rittenhouse. So, oh, so Rittenhouse was a judge? No, Rittenhouse. No, <laughs> Rittenhouse wasn't a judge. So, Rittenhouse, so, uh, so let's let's say himself. let's say for a moment all these allegations against the victims. It's it's funny we make the victims even more victims by making them more victims. But that has nothing to do with it. Yeah, it has nothing to do with it. The fact is that just because the guy, let's say the guy is a pedophile. Let's just say that. There's no reason to shoot him to death. There's no uh, excuse for shooting uh, well, him. Well, that wasn't the reason he shot him. The reason he <clears throat> shot him was the guy was trying to grab his gun. Uh, one guy hit him over the head twice with a skateboard, and they were, and they, and the other guy uh, aimed his gun at Rittenhouse. Well, what, well and now when, did, him. when did they hit him over the head after he started pointing his gun at people? Uh, he wasn't pointing his gun at people. Uh, he was, uh, matter of fact, uh, what they said. Uh, no, what happened. he said. What he said. Please oh, yeah, don't well, say what they they said. Oath. What they well, said. We'll see. We'll see what the uh, uh, what the thing. So uh, yeah. Uh, so Uber was known uh, offender of domestic violence and a rapist. Uh, Rosenbaum had sexually abused children, and gross. And where are you getting this from? Snopes. But Snopes usually... It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with the price of potatoes in China, Phil. It it, it just it has nothing to do with it. Uh, so I guess these guys deserve to die, then, is what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying... Then it shouldn't guys, even be brought up. These guys weren't nice guys. Uh, Who cares? And, and, and they, neither was Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse had never been in trouble before. He hadn't... Uh, he had not abused on, on uh, second, year old boys. Phil, what did you say, Tony? You know what I was going to say, Phil? You have, Alex, I'm following your story. I'm, I was grading my comic books, and I listened to this to the radio. And I'm saying to myself, and I see a picture, Alex, if if I was your son, and you see me, Dad, I'm going out. Where are you going? I'm going to that rally in wherever. What's with the AK-47? By the way, can you drive me? What do you say? Where are you going with this gun? <laughs> really? Uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't go to his father. I don't know what he killed me. 
<laughs> Your mother wouldn't have driven you there. She wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, <laughs> see, this is a question, though, Phil. The kid is 17 now. What good is what if you're living in a house with an AK 47? Isn't this the wrong message we're supposed to be said? And these people think he's a hero, he's a his life was in danger. Really, oh, he was the only people know, that, get that. That's getting to be, I'll, I'll tell you what, that's getting to be the catch all excuse. I felt I was in danger in, in Florida. You can actually pull out a gun and shoot somebody if you feel you're in danger. <laughs> No, yeah. you can't. But yes, you can. Tony, in Florida? You, yes, it's the law. Uh, I want you to know that the kid buys American. You said AK-47. That's a Russian weapon. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. AR, I was just using his speech. I didn't know what he had. had, had an AR-15 because he buys American. <laughs> All right? No. And you see his face, Alex, the kid? I think he's a little slow. He looks like he's slow to me. My, I said, my sister thinks he's on the spectrum, like he's off the well, grid. Like well, you can see, like his face. No, Tony, a lot of people think you are. So, you know, come know, on. That's, true. <laughs> that's my mother's fault. <laughs> Jerry, you haven't said anything. What do yeah. you think about all Have you watched any of this trial? Uh, I have watched some of it. Uh, I've heard a lot of uh, newscasts yeah. about it. But yeah. in my opinion, at that point when Rittenhouse was shooting people, he became the active shooter. Hmm. And anybody who was trying to take out an active shooter would try to grab the gun to stop him. So if someone's trying to grab the gun, can you obviously, if you're the aggressor and someone tries to grab your gun to stop it, can you shoot him? Well, oh, if somebody, if I, were like, if I were at a demonstration, somebody came up, pointed a rifle at me, I think I would try to grab it out of his hand. Sure. Because that may be the only... But the, the thing, yeah, the thing is, you can, I uh, think the... Um, Defense of uh, self-defense is thrown out the door if you are the one who is the agitator causing someone to come after you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. once he's the one, if he's the you know the active shooter and all that, and someone's coming after him to stop him, and he shoots him. Say, oh, I was acting in self-defense. This person was coming after me. Well, you're the one who caused all this mm -hmm. to happen. So I believe that uh, ch defense should be dropped. What part of where do you live? Uh I live in Southerton, Pennsylvania, which is a 45-minute north suburb of Philadelphia. Okay, because I just want it, sometimes it's good to know where somebody's from to get their take on things, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 it's just a question of, I mean, um, the guy took a rifle into the situation; uh, he then becomes the aggressor, right? In my opinion, and plus, I think that he had that in mind. I think. They're trying to use this as a, I want to shoot someone, I want to feel what it's like to shoot somebody, and then use it as a defense to drag it off. Yeah. Now, I've, I've, I'm not definitely sure if it's sure or not hearing that uh, his statement saying they, those people look like looters, I would love to shoot them. But the question is, if they're looters, did, did they have anything in their hand? Or are they stealing anything? Hmm. Is that a looter? Yeah, uh, you, you cannot shoot someone over chattel or property. What, what is that, what is chattel? Uh, chattel is uh, that's possession. a Jewish cow. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, it's uh, <laughs> it, 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 that's the way the law is written. So uh, what happens is you can only if you're in imminent danger of bodily harm uh, at, or someone else's, uh, you you have the right to use deadly force. But it has to be inescapable, and uh, it also has to uh, uh, you know be immediate. So, you know, if you don't have a way of retreating, uh, you know, it's 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 murder at that point. Mm -hmm. But uh, and according to the testimony I heard, they were saying that he had nowhere to run. He was pinned in. But uh, but if, if so, somebody... you say you, you always say to us from what I heard and where I heard, you know, but it, you're listening to sources that are parsing this thing. Well, you know? aren't you? No, well, no, you don't no, listen to any sources. No, I'm, I, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just believing everything you say because I didn't watch it. Well, know? that's that's about time. Uh, yeah. Did you hear any of this, Kevin, about this? These guy, this guy being a, a, a pedophile and the other one beating his wife and the other. No, one. I didn't hear any of that. I was, uh, of course not, not on MSNBC. I don't well, watch I'm, MSNBC. <laughs> oh, you, you communist. Well, so that. So Phil thinks it's okay for him to shoot him because these people were these bad people. But at the time when oh, he shot them, the they weren't wearing. Oh, yeah. but yeah, he didn't know that fact, by the way, when right. he shot them. They were, they were not wearing. Wait a minute! 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 Hold on a second! Wait a minute! Let Jerry say what he was saying. All right. Yeah. So what you're saying is he didn't know these guys were had any background like that. That wasn't the reason he shot them. 
Right. He, he shot him to protect his life. Yeah. Uh, because uh, he, he felt he was in imminent danger of bodily harm. Uh, you, that, that, you know, that bullshit has got to stop you, already. You can't. You, well, I was just answering before. You that was used shoot. by Zimmerman in Florida. It, yeah. it gets used all the time now. I was in imminent danger. Okay. I guess I'm going to go down on the street right now in, in my neighborhood, which is a basically... Well, shall we say uh, it's now a fairly nice neighborhood, but it used to be Harlem used to be quite dangerous to go into late at night. But I could go down there and just shoot the first person that comes along and say I felt I was in danger. Yeah. Well, that's what Trump said on Fifth Avenue. He probably was right too. Yeah, probably I, being used in the Aubrey trial in Georgia as well right now. Yeah, they're using the same thing. Well, I, all I was saying earlier uh, was that you can't shoot anybody over property now. Uh, the the kid Rittenhouse was invited by the car sales place to uh, to to be there and uh, sort of uh, run some sort of security. Uh, uh, as far wait a minute, the kid is how old? The kid is how old? He's seventeen. He's seventeen, and they're going to hire him to do security. He wasn't. I would have him to pack my comic books. He wasn't hired. What he was? Benjamin, the guy. Trucker Steve is uh, showing us his trucker belly. <laughs> yeah, well, Trucker's, Trucker Steve's looking good. He's looking healthy. He is. He's got color in his face. How you feeling, and... Steve? Feeling good? Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, hey, and Tony has to stop using my wallpaper. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, some people think that they can protect property, and you really can't. Not, not, not to the point of deadly. No, force. no. The, the deadly forcing only goes that you feel your own person is in jeopardy, right. or or someone else. You know, uh, but there are, there are some criteria, aren't they, for defending yourself and feeling that yeah. you are in imminent danger? You can't just say you were in. Imminent it has to danger. be immediate and inescapable. There's, there's. They call it the three-legged stool. So, uh, imminent and. In, well, that must that must be hard to flush down the toilet. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Get the plunger out, Ma. Yeah. Oh, it's that enema time. time. Hey, Brian. She took such big poop. Phil's at his best <laughs> tonight. <laughs> I'm trying to get some work done here for a uh, secret Indian project, and Phil's just killing me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't concentrate, huh, Brian? Classic Phil. Classic Phil. Classic Phil. Yeah. Yeah. I was already. This is the Monday I had to show. Go to Monday. water because vodka was killing me. I had to go to water. I was drinking so much from Phil's talk. <laughs> really? The whole Sarah Silverman thing. I fell back in my chair and bumped my head on the floor. Well, you know, so I blame the Jew. I blame the Jew, but it was actually the uh, the Irish. Well, I think it's amazing, Phil, that you you know you got that Sarah Silverman thing all wrong. Uh, hey, you know so. So uh, you're in imminent danger of bodily harm. You better pull out your weapon. <laughs> you know what can I tell you? That, that kid was a punk kid, stupid as hell, wanting to you know think he he's a cop. And, and like I put in the chat right when you start saying it doesn't matter if those guys were murderers. He I, didn't I know did, who I they did. were when they shot him. No, and he didn't. And I didn't say he shot him because. So they, what if they were good, loving church people that were pastors? That then they wouldn't have, make it worse. Then they wouldn't have been there. But you know the the thing is, uh, because uh, everybody I, that goes to a demonstration is a rapist, right? Well, uh, all I was saying was hmm. these guys weren't the nicest guys in the world, and those they, but that, 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 that doesn't that doesn't it it to it begin with. No, wait a minute. He didn't know their bona fide before they shot. He shot. Oh. Them. Okay. I'm not saying that that was the causation of them being shot. I'm no, saying you're you're listing it. You're actually listing it as a justification for killing. Oh. Them. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, you can't. No. I, hey, look. <laughs> Yeah. If the guy's a bad guy and he's gonna he's gonna be up to no good and do nefarious deeds. Hey, hey, wait, to be hey, wait, 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 Phil, Phil, hold hold on a second. Yeah, there they, was weren't, a, they weren't raping people. They weren't raping people when he shot them. They weren't being raped. They weren't raping kids. Be no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Phil, 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 Phil. Just because somebody is a pedophile, yeah, doesn't mean that they're aggressive towards other people. No. You know, you're, you're saying that because he was a pedophile, these were he was a dangerous person. Well, he, he no, he wasn't. He was a pedophile. He, was, he wasn't a good guy. 
And sometimes people who would do these other kinds of crimes would do harm to others. And Rittenhouse... Had oh, to God. Phil, I'm trying, trying to... It, can't you listen to what we're saying? These yeah, things have nothing... The, this mind. has nothing to do with the fact that these lives right. were taken. I don't know that pedophile is a capital of, of crime, but Rittenhouse made it a capital crime. I don't know if beating your wife is a capital crime, but Rittenhouse made it a capital crime. Well, we'll see if it was actually self-defense. I mean, the jury's still out. They've been what out. What does the jury time. know? Well, that's that's who you know. They 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 twelve uh, uh, people tried and true from Kenosha, Wisconsin. You know, uh, O.J. got freed by the jury, oh. and they said that he was innocent, you know, uh, but... Uh, well, I, be I believe that he was. Yeah, Phil. I'm sure And I'm going to start using your logic against you. Okay. Well, because the, the, uh, the server... And, and by the way, you know, you know, O.J. never was a pedophile. Okay? That we know of. That uh, we know of. It, uh, <laughs> OJ made many people laugh on the Naked Gun series. Yes, we all loved him. He had certain a certain value to America. Now, look what happened to the Hertz uh, company. Adam, to the Hertz company? You mean the car company? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're out of business. Yeah, but what about the Broncos? The white Broncos were going sale crazy money right when that happened. <laughs> wait a minute. I want wait a minute. Let me Bronco ask you a question. Uh, Hertz, <laughs> I thought Hertz went out of business a year ago or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they did. Yeah. 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 So that's no big deal. I, I ordered a Bronco. <laughs> Just really? I can see him driving it when they pull him over. <laughs> Did you it's order AC a Alex. Oh, no, it's a white guy. <laughs> he said it could take up to a year to get. Really? really? Oh, can I tell you a funny story? You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna laugh at me when I tell you this. So our mini fridge goes bad, or at least what I think is a mini fridge. And so I order one from PC Richards. And it's like uh, two, 188 bucks. I go, whoop de doo It's great. They deliver it, too. And they deliver it, and they haul away the old one, which is the main thing. Uh, and and so they bring it over, and it's like half the size of the one we had. Oh, no. What I we ordered was a mini fridge. What I should have ordered was a half fridge. <laughs> he must have left when he took it out. Or a or, or beverage cooler, okay, because yeah. the beverage coolers are bigger. Yeah. So I just ordered that for six hundred bucks today, <laughs> and been Mar Marjorie is is joining me in buying it. And then we're going to take that little small one and put it under a desk here and use it in the office. <laughs> you know. uh, will it blow all the fuses? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Those things don't eat up much electricity. I don't think <laughs> it's just they constantly use electricity. So uh, I just uh, want to say that. Uh, you, some people were putting words in my mouth. I didn't say that it was okay to kill these guys because they were bad guys. I said it just so happens sometimes you come across. Well, what you're trying to do is you're people. trying to denigrate the victims. No, I, he, they're and, not the victims. And you're using that, that to try and defend defend the guy, and, as, and you shouldn't. Yeah, as far okay. as I could see, they weren't the victims. They were the aggressors, and uh, Rittenhouse was the victim, and he had to defend himself. If If he's, in fact... Uh, not convicted uh, because of self-defense, then I'm right. And it, it, you guys can take a drink. Well, no, I'm not saying that he isn't going to be found not guilty. I'm, I'm not going to say that at all. What is what is that you brought in there? Your dog? It's like is, is that the doggy, uh, uh, Steve? Oh, oh no, it was food. Eating the dog, <laughs> a French curler. <laughs> Oh, He's oh. eating the dog. Uh, just take a chunk, chunk out of his leg. Tasty little chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm telling you. So anyway, uh, you know, I mean, I I think there's a good chance he's gonna he's gonna skate. You know, I think there's a very good chance he's gonna skate. Um, Is not huh? guilty. It's not guilty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I mean, I I, you know, I wasn't there. So I can't judge what's right, what's wrong, you know. But from what I hear, the fact that he had a rifle and he came over state lines to get to this event and that he went down there and then he pointed this rifle at people seems to get, it, it, intimate to me a certain amount of guilt. Okay. 
Yeah, what about the video after him when he saw the National Guard or whoever go by, remember? And he was, like, cheering him on, and th those guys were cheering him on, too? It's like... Yeah. Not before or after he shot them. Oh, after, no, they, okay. they were cheering him after he shot these guys. Yeah, after. Yeah. They knew he, he shot him. He was trying to make no, his way to the police station. they didn't know he shot him. Yeah, he yeah. was trying to make his way to the police station. Look, the, the fact of the matter is, Phil, guy has a, has a rifle. Goes into a situation. After it's over, two people are dead. One is wounded. Uh, it's a uh, shame. I think he's guilty of something. Okay? Uh, we'll see. What do you mean we'll see? We'll see uh, if a uh, jury finds him guilty. I'm talking about something. whether he's guilty or not morally. Well, one of the guys he shot that lived said that he pointed his, he pointed his gun at Rittenhouse. You know, I mean, if somebody <laughs> points a gun at me and says he's going to kill me... Uh, I'm not going to hesitate. You didn't say he said he was going to kill you. You just said that he pointed his gun at Rittenhouse. No, but Rittenhouse. Oh, by the said, way, by the way, uh, somebody brought this up, and it's a good one. Matt Crash on our on our uh, little. Is he still alive? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, the same birth. All of a sudden, Phil believes in mere accusations. Remember when he uh, all he did to defend Kavanaugh. Uh, by hey, saying those were mere accusations. I, I, that's not what I said tonight. What I said was. I heard some testimony, but I wasn't there. I didn't see all the evidence. And I, I'm I waiting think you were there and handed him the gun. Yeah, and and I'm waiting for what the <laughs> no. jury says. Here, use mine. Yeah, exactly. the jury is out. I don't think I hope he would. I don't think. Yeah. Phil, would you have arrested the guy? He would have. Wouldn't you have said you would have probably arrested the kid? Wouldn't you if you would have sort of run around with a gun like that? Not yeah. necessarily. Well, you, uh, know really? you know something? You know something? Maybe. I this guy in. Uh, uh, anybody, okay, freedom. Phil. Phil, enough. Enough. Just a moment. The question is, when a jury goes out and they stay out as long as they have now, it's been several days, is there a chance they're going to come back with an, a, a guilty verdict or a not guilty verdict? There's two possibilities. One is they will come back either with a guilty or a non-guilty verdict, or the catering service is really good and these guys don't want to go home. Yeah, yeah. No, I, was, I thought you were going to say there are two possibilities, guilty or not guilty. Yeah. <laughs> you worry about the... the I, I, I love the one. one. They might have a good hotel too, Phil. You never know. And Phil, Phil, your buddy with the horns got, what, 40 months? 40 oh, months? No, three, three years. Yeah. Three years. Oh, really? Three that years. You and three months. Months. Uh, he got uh, four years, right? Three years. 41 months. Yeah. Oh, 41, 41 months. months. All right, so he'll be out in uh, two years with good behavior. Yeah, with his horns. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna get a horn in his ass in prison. <laughs> I was well, so I was so happy that they gave him that time in jail. I mean, I, 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 yeah, he deserved it because he's he's getting there, sitting there at the table, and he's doing yeah, the whole that? thing. Yeah, well, that stupid you makeup. Know. I look like a football fan. Like, come yeah. on. You should force him to eat non-organic food. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. He was. He went on a what? What, Jerry? What did he do? He went on a fast or something, right? He wasn't gonna eat until they brought organic food in. Yeah, he. he, he I guess he's a mommy's boy, but yeah, he was having a hissy fit because of the. He wanted organic food. I like yeah. organic food. Yeah, and then, then his uh, his lawyer said that he uh, he got offered a trip to London or something and didn't think he should be sentenced and all that crap. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Once in a lifetime trip to London, I don't think he should be sentenced. Wait a minute. I like organic food. And I, you know. And I, I think they should send him ground beef every night. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I learned about organic food? What? That if you, the, uh, let's say you buy an avocado, <clears throat> the avocado has those little stick-on labels, and the and the number it's like a five-digit number, and it starts with a nine. That's organic. If it starts with a five or a four, it's not. So you can you can tell whether mine whether didn't not... have any stickers on it at all. Uh, why? Uh, because you I don't know. Uh, I buy in the non-stickered versions. Of... No, they all have stickers. It, no, all... this one did, these didn't. Have, I bought them today. They didn't have any stickers on. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, you, maybe you got stuck. It's something like that. But I didn't. Buy, I didn't, I didn't they had no stickers on them, so you know. Uh, look, look a little further. But uh, that's one. You look at apples. You, I, I like. I said. Speaking I like of what, Apple, can I bring, bring this up? You know that whole thing that had happened at what was it, Astro World in uh, in Houston? Yeah. Uh, that uh, uh, that uh, concert by uh, Kylie Jenner's boyfriend. 
Yeah. Or did, daddy, daddy. My, 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 what do they call him? Daddy something or another. Maybe daddy. Anyway, uh, uh, he uh, he was given a concert, and of course, uh, a bunch of people came in. And one thing led to another, and people were trampled to death. Ten of them. The well, latest one is a what a seven-year-old kid, five-year-old kid, something like that. Yeah. Now you you've been what on. What the heck is he well, doing at a concert during the? I, week I like wondered that. about that, but here's the story. Here's the thing that is big. So there are suits being filed that now total close to a billion dollars. Wow! Against Live Nation. Against as well. Live Nation, but who else? Uh, the the entertainers. No. Oh, the entertainer, of course. Yeah. Uh, is being being. Charged, I don't know anybody else being sued. Uh, the other party in the in the whole deal, Apple. Really? Yes, Apple was the producer of the concert, or something, wow. or had something to do with the concert. Was a co-promoter, or something, and so Apple is being sued too because, guess who's got deep pockets? Yeah, Apple. Yeah. So Jeez. you know. Well, now uh, let me ask you this, Alex. You've been on stage. Have you ever been on a stage with fifty thousand or a hundred thousand people? I've been on a stage with eleven thousand people. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know when you were doing those things, but. Uh, for instance, were you uh, anywhere near the stage at uh, at uh, Woodstock, for instance? Uh, I was backstage. Yes. Can you uh, hear uh, uh, what was going on in the crowd? Let me, let me tell you this now. The times have changed from then, okay? Because yeah. what happens now, these guys go on stage and they have earphones that completely cover their ears so they can hear the band, Right. okay? So that they're, they, they're isolated. So mm -hmm. those earphones do not allow them to hear anything that's going on around them. Secondly, I don't know if you've ever been on a stage in your life, but when you're standing on stage, there is no audience out there. And the reason yeah, there's no audience out there, you can't right. see them because yeah. the spotlight is on you and it's shining that's in your eyes. And you ever notice sometimes when they go, so how's the audience out there? And they do this. It's so they yeah. can see somebody. So when he says, I didn't know what was going on, even the cops at the front of the stage, the security cops, 25 minutes in didn't seem to be phased by anything. So they weren't even aware of it. So I don't think there's any way on stage that he was aware of it. Well, yeah, that's that's why I was asking. Yeah. You've experienced those kinds of, uh, yeah. well, semi those <laughs> kinds of crowds. And... Uh, that you know you would you would best know you know what's going on i mean i mean if he if 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 indeed he's using that as a, his excuse it's a pretty good excuse there was yeah. some woman who came up close to him on stage off to the side of the stage yelling stop the concert there are people dying out there and he just kept going and they act like he was oblivious to it well of course he was oblivious to it he couldn't hear her okay he couldn't probably well, see her you know, it, 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 I I think probably of all the people that are guilty here, he is the least guilty. Yeah. You yeah. know, I, I shoot from the pit at a number of rock <clears throat> and But, you know, the venues that I shoot in maybe only have 1,000, 1,500 people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, even even when you're shooting from the pit, because sometimes I'll shoot into the crowd to uh, to get some crowd reaction shots. And uh, very difficult know. to see from up there, yeah, very yeah because you got all these lights pointed yeah. at you, yeah. So, yeah, I, and these, these concerts and raves, what they do also <clears throat> for security reasons is they, they have those alleys where they sort of have it fenced off. So, like the center, you see, like later, you can see those pictures, they separate the center and they separate so they're in like sections where the crowds are. But with his music, everybody's jumping up and down, it's almost like dubstep or they're going crazy. So even security who's looking at the crowds, I think it was probably difficult for them to see. But they said there's mm -hmm. they're dead like five songs ago. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, uh, you know, uh, I I don't I don't you think also, he, 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 he Oh, reasons, here we go. Jeff's got to find out how to t Jeff. There <laughs> if, if in doubt, Jeff, him off. My God, Jeff so assassinates himself visually. You know. Uh, <laughs> Well, he was in Kenosha. So listen, you know, we, we don't hear from Philadelphia that often. And by the way, my uh, my wife oh, is from Eagles. Philadelphia. Yeah, uh, go Eagles. Huh? I said go Eagles. Go Eagles. Eagles fan, Jerry? That's right. Yeah. That's right. 
Good. We could do better, but oh yeah. Yeah, even though we suck, we can team up on Charlie. Charlie's a Dallas Cowboy fan, so. 45 minutes yeah, north. Yeah, my only concern is I'm going to do better than Dallas. That's all I want to hear. <laughs> 45 yeah. minutes north, are you close to New Jersey, or? Uh, yes, it's, um. Like Cherry Hill. I'm about 15, 20 minutes from Jersey. But f- yeah. luckily, he's not in New Jersey. So, it's, you yeah, know. Armpit America. It's <laughs> still under Democratic rule. Barely. <laughs> But anyway, um, uh, Jerry, so you live where exactly? Not in Philadelphia proper, right? Uh, no, uh, about 45 minutes north of Philly, yeah. out in Northwest. Okay, okay. Um, because uh, I was just wondering what's going on in, in Pennsylvania that we maybe we don't know about some piece of news that's very big down there, but we don't get it up here. Anything? Well, I haven't really paying attention to a lot of news because i got three young kids. I can't up most of my time and... Both my wife and I work from home now because of the COVID. Yeah. Houses is closing. So, so I basically just, uh, I'm looking through a tunnel. Yeah, so I'm in I a am. tunnel too. I, well, what it is is that I've just gotten to the point where I can't watch those channels because it's just the same thing all the time. You know, it's the same stories. And it depends on which one you watch as to what, who they're going after, you know. Uh, 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 over at MSNBC, Biden can do no wrong. Over at Fox... He hasn't done anything right yet, you know. (laughs) Well, how is that news reporting when you can predict what they're going to say is news? You know, they just reported it, but they don't. They don't. Why do you keep changing your background, Phil? I got tired of Tony's background. (laughs) Oh, okay. I don't blame him. The wallpaper. Because I could change mine, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I, I have to get going, guys. Sorry. I got to go pick up my son. So. You got places. Uh, you, you've been busy lately, haven't you? Yeah. I'm like, uh, we, yeah, it's just crazy right now. Everything's starting to get the buildings released all at once, and I'm being stretched too much. So, And then I got kids, too. So. Yeah. Well, we, we love it when you're here. And he's got his nice fancy car to drive, too. Yeah, so the good thing is, so my son, he goes to this, he's going to this group thing tonight with his friends, mm-hmm. and so I busted out the McLaren, he goes, we're going to go in this, because he hates me driving the McLaren to drop him off or pick him up, so I'm going to go pick him up in the McLaren again, so, because all the kids love well, it. you're doing it just it. to piss your kid off, right? He hates the attention. What does he hate? It? Oh, well, he hates it because the car gets attention, right? Yeah, he, he just, he wants to be low-key. Yeah, so I'm not like that. that. That's my dad. That's my dad. Don't pay any attention to him. And then I read it up a couple times. I said, I told him, I said, you better be out there at nine o'clock or I'm going to start honking and revving up the car. Well, we appreciate it anytime you call, Brian. Yeah, because I know you're threatening to leave again. So I wanted to make sure I came. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. night. Everybody say goodbye to Brian. Hi, Brian. Yeah, yeah. I decided not to do Tuesday nights anymore because I suddenly realized I was doing five nights a week, five shows a week again with the Monday show. And so I just quit uh, Tuesdays. Well, when, when you posted that, Brian wrote, thanks, Phil. You know, like it was my fault you're not doing Tuesdays. And oh. I said, you were just trying. To, that's one way that they silence the right wing on Tuesdays is to eliminate the show. But I think Brian, if I remember correctly, Brian called fr- Monday show. Monday yeah. show gets a lot of viewership. A lot of viewership. I don't know why. I think a why is it's just a really nice show. You know? It's yeah. just very peaceful well, and uh, chatty and fun. You know? And it, I think uh, last week... I think Shecky mentioned after the show, he said, we didn't mention politics once in the whole Mm -hmm. hour. You know, know, I had mentioned a long time ago, you should have a Trump free zone. And, and you you know, it was the low hanging fruit. You didn't want to go for that. But, you know, you have to tell Trump that early on, (laughs) you know, hey, why don't you just have a Trump free zone? And, uh, you know, uh, now you wish. Well, we do have a Trump free zone now. Thank God. Yeah. Do you do you think I'm just going to ask you this because you're the Trump fan? If you were here right now, you'd suck his dick. Uh, do you uh, do you really think he's going to get nominated in 2024? Nah, he's done. See, I thought so too. Boy, really? We agree on something about Trump. Yeah. No, uh, he he's done. I think that he's he's still a kingmaker. 
and he still has a lot of influence uh, as to uh, you know uh, the, the direction of the Republican Party. Mm-hmm. But as far as him getting another uh, shot at uh, running for president, I don't think is going to happen. Even with the way the party's going right now, Phil. Yeah, I'm surprised you uh, said. Yeah, even with the way the party's going, things are looking up. I think they're it's all good. they're all still all over him, and he still has all that influence on him. he has that influence on them. But he, I, I don't know. I'm not so I, sure I, about that. I think you have to kind of pay him his homage in public, but in private. I don't think he has anywhere near the support. I don't think he ever has. Look, I was what, say, look what he's really? doing, though. But look what he's doing. I mean, he, these people are scared shitless of the guy. And he sits there, and look what he's doing right now. I mean, look at what, what had happened today to Gosar. And all that crap that, you know, these people wouldn't even vote against the guy. And now they're all trashing each other because of what he did to the, to the uh, infrastructure bill. He, they're going after people because of an instru- infrastructure bill, but they're not going after them be- because... Kevin, it's strictly uh, saber rattling. You're scared shitless of him. No, it's saber rattling, and, and what they're doing is they're placating to him uh, verbally, but in... in I'm not so sure. I'm yeah, not so am sure. I, am I wrong in this, maybe, that they're, they're afraid of Trump, that he has some kind of hold over the voting public, which he really doesn't have? No, uh, I, 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 I think they, uh, like the guy in Virginia, he ran a campaign not siding with Trump, even though uh, the opponent tried to put him in Trump's camp. Yeah. Uh, I think that the, the way the race was run in Virginia is the way races will be run at by the Republicans in the future. <clears throat> uh, and uh, that uh, Trump has a bully pulpit and he has a big voice but when push comes to shove i don't think he's gonna have uh the influence that uh you think he's gonna have do you think he's gonna make an attempt to get nominated i'm not sure i don't yeah i i don't think he likes to lose and i don't think he can win really yeah you don't think he can win the nomination you're saying right yeah yeah so who uh, is there in the Democratic Party, Republican Party, in, absent Trump, that you think could run and have a good shot? Um, uh, Florida's governor, uh, DeSantis, oh, and the and the guy, the black guy from uh, South Carolina, that uh, uh, Scott. So I, I think that's that would be the ticket for for me would be DeSantis Scott. Really? Yeah. I think they're both a disaster. Well, I think they'd both know, be a disaster. Yeah. They would not win. Uh, I, I think this, Scott's, uh, Scott's, DeSantis uh, doesn't uh, have the charisma that you need to win. Now, DeSantis, is, DeSantis was a Navy SEAL. DeSantis uh, is so is what? Who an gives a shit if he was a Navy SEAL? Beat the band. Who gives huh? a shit if he was a Navy SEAL? Well, it takes a lot of uh, self. What, but what uh, does that have to do with being with being president? Well, so was Jesse Ventura. It's, yeah, so it's was Ventura Jesse Ventura. Was Ventura. Exactly. Right, it's the wrestling. leadership. It's yeah. the leadership yeah. and the effort that you make to follow things through. And he's a proven. Uh, he's a proven winner. What do you mean and, he's a proven winner? What's he gotten through? He's gotten through. He, he wound up killing thousands upon thousands of people. Yeah, he was fighting the schools. If anything, Florida's got the some some of the lowest COVID numbers now. now finally. Uh, you know, because you know. the old people who live there all went out and got the shots. That's fine. I got the shot. You know, that doesn't yeah. mean I'm not a Republican. By the way, have you gotten your booster yet? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 by the way, um, uh, Trucker Steve, up in the Canada, well, anything happening up there we should know about? They're all frozen. Uh, yeah. Uh, British Columbia is literally cut off from the rest of the country because of the major floodings in the mountains there. Uh, they've washed out every single highway. Wow. Major transportation route to the prairies in Canada. Wow. So ev- all the truckers that are in BC right now are literally trapped there. Unless uh, somehow the Canadian government can negotiate with the US government to allow the Canadian drivers who are delivering freight to another Canadian point to cut through the states. Wow. So they can get home. Yeah, because the Northwest is pretty beat up too. 
because all the roads are washed. It's it's horrible. Where, you should where, see where, where, where do you watch the news? Wait, 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 hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. Uh, uh, Kevin, you, who else did you say was having problems? North Northwest Washington. Yeah. Oh, Northwest Washington. Okay. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. I, so I don't, I'm not sure. I haven't heard much about, uh, well, Sumas, Sumas, Washington, mm -hmm. which is right near the border. Yeah. It's it's all washed straight out. Like, really? You know, I, I once experienced the short-term version of that. I, I, I had a job in uh, Carmel, California, and uh, there were these torrential rains, and Highway 1 flooded out, and I couldn't get out of Carmel for four days. And wow. so just that... Just that, you know, little. Yeah. Uh, so uh, living living on espresso for a couple of days has got to be uh, terrible. Yeah, I got, a, got a hotel. That was back in the eighties, wasn't it, Phil? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's when I was driving down there too. Yeah. We had to go gonna... detour through the uh, through the fields out there in in Pajaro and all that. We had to detour all our routes out didn't there. Didn't one of the yeah, bridges at one point? Didn't one of the bridges on Highway One go? Uh, you mean uh, Big Sur? Big Sur. Yeah. Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah. they, they've rebuilt it so many times. I don't know if it's open or not. Yeah. No, so Highway One's open. No, oh, Highway yeah. One's open. Yeah. Yeah, but it slides Harris. all the time. But but yeah. I had that feeling of isolation. It was only four days. You know, I can imagine what Steve is going through in Canada. But you know, uh, four days where you can't get out of where well, you well, are. Wait a minute. Do you live uh, in BC, uh, uh, Steve, or yeah. where do you live exactly? Uh, London, Ontario. It's I'm on, on the east side. side. Yeah. You're on the east side. I'm I'm, okay. I'm like uh, directly north of Cleveland. Okay. About the other side of the lake. Oh, okay. So is that near like uh, Windsor and uh, Detroit? Yeah, I'm I'm one hour, I'm one uh, two hours from Windsor. Are they oh. saying that these floods they think are part of the global warming thing? I mean, the whole fact that nature is vomiting on us now. Well, they had all the fires there in BC. Mm -hmm. this past summer when it got really hot yeah and they think that a lot of the ash that settled on the ground is preventing all the water from absorbing into the ground oh wow and mm -hmm. a lot of it now they have mudslides now and everything is just washing out you they had i saw video of uh cliff sides of trees just falling down because the the, wow. the ground is so soft, and everything's just literally crumbling. Kevin, that when I was stuck in Carmel, it was like ninety four, ninety five. Oh, okay, that was a later one. Yeah, that, you do yeah. realize that was twenty five years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but I remember being stuck for four days. And yeah, but I I think what feeling. we should do in our lives is we should have a cutoff point of stories we tell. Yeah. You know, because you couldn't say a word. The, no, the uh, really the other day I was t saying something to somebody, and then I went, "Oh God, that happened to me 35 years ago." Right. You know, uh, and uh, it, it's amazing how fast time goes. You know, and how much life has gone before me. So, you know, when I when I meet people that are, I've met people that are 100 years old, and they and and when they're getting nearing the end of their <clears throat> lives. They start remembering all the stuff when they were kids, and they remember it as vividly as it happened yesterday. But they can't, you know, they can't, they can't remember, remember the stuff something that happened yesterday. Happened I'll tell you something else that I that I I was mentioning this to Debbie Durst mm -hmm. today. I said, you know, when I sent I suddenly realized something that every time I go down a set of subway stairs, I hold on to the rail. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there was a time I didn't need to hold on to the rail. I just walk right down the stairs. Mm -hmm. When did that happen? I'm starting to think, when did I first start holding on to the rail? And now I have to. I can't walk down a flight of stairs without holding on to something to balance. I don't balance. go on ladders anymore. We might I'm done. I, 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 I have a, yeah, I can't get up on ladders. I couldn't, if you asked me to get up on, say, this table here. A yeah. couple of, Many years ago, I used to be able to just hop up on the table. I can't yeah. get up there anymore. You can you know. train yourself in the CrossFit classes I'm taking. They have this thing called a war wagon, and it's like a wheelbarrow, and it's completely yeah. Here covered. Here we go with, with him working out again. With, with, with weight. He's let his something. body go to, 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 to rot for the last uh, 40 <laughs> yeah. years and finally decides to work out. Oh, 
Bravo, it's, Phil. It's this wagon, you know, you, you got one wheel, you got all this weight, you have to balance it. And it's those kinds of exercises that help. I'm you just saying that I think you, I think what happens is as you get older, you lose your sense of balance. You know, I think all, so, yeah. all the things that help you with balance are going like your ears, for instance, and the, like I have no trouble with my hearing, but I still, my balance is not as like it used to be. So when I walk down a flight of stairs, I got to hold on to a banister. Yeah. You know. I think I remember in high school that I could jump down flights of stairs. They oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd jump down stairs. and I'd miss, I'd, I'd jump every other stair. You yeah. Want to take well, every coming, other step. Coming right? down yeah. the whole staircase, yeah. I could go from one platform yeah. to the other just by touching the handrail. Well, well, do you agree? Right? Do you agree with me, uh, Jeff? Do you hold on Absolutely. to? Absolutely. Matter of fact, I, I take uh, a physical therapist guy that okay. I, I use. Yeah. And he always uh, has me do balance studies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And and you know it's simple things that you you have to stand on a ball. Yeah. And okay. Just change your legs and stuff like that. Those half ball. And, yeah, and then. But if you hear it go out, you're stepping on the wrong ball. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta always have one hand close. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> uh, otherwise you're gonna go. Ask Tony, how old go. are you, Tony? You just hit fifty, right? I'm fifty-two. Fifty-two. Okay, Tony, uh, you're thirty <laughs> years younger than me. Do you do you have to hold onto a handrail when you go down a flight of stairs? No, I don't. Actually, I really haven't had, and I'm not sure, I was always pretty athletic, so I always played basketball a lot and football, or mostly basketball. So, like, I was playing 21 with my nephew in the in the park over here. Mm -hmm. So I could still shoot and all, but you know what I lost? I can't, like, I'm short, but I was able to jump pretty good for my height. So I don't have the same spring because of my knees. I'm old. But I never hurt my knees. So I really haven't had, like, I'm still pretty spry like that. I'm but not just saying, you're, like, you're, if I worked yeah. out, I could still you're feeling, keep up. You're, like, I was you're, playing You're with feeling him. your age starting to catch up to you, though. Right? Yeah, my age, like, I can't play full court. I could probably play half. Now, Kevin, I bet you hold on to the rail, right? Because you've got problems. Oh, hell yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I oh, all of a sudden, I was walking down the stairs the other day in the subway, and I was grabbing onto the rail, and I was going... When did this first start happening? Yeah, I don't even remember when I me. matriculated to that in my life, you know? And uh, you don't do that, do you, Larry? You don't need to yet. Uh, it, uh, yeah, we got the name right. Excuse me, Jerry. You you, you don't have to hold yeah. on to a rail, do you? Hey, Alex. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I asked you, uh, Jerry a question. Uh He's not muted, but we don't hear him. Jerry, we can't hear you. Oh. Oh, there no. we go. There we go. Yeah. There. Do you, do you do you have to hold on to a rail? How old are you, to begin with? Uh, Wait a minute. We I, just lost you again. I think he again. has a bad connection with his uh, ear ear plugs uh, earphones, and they. I don't uh, know. No. Now you're okay. They pushed in all the way. The the plug. Yeah, I'm Bluetooth. And can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. How old are so you? I am 50. You're 50. So do you find yourself holding on to a rail when you go downstairs? I do. But not necessarily because I think I have to, but it's just a habit. Oh, okay. But you could walk down those steps without feeling uneasy sure. without mm -hmm. the rail. Okay. So this, But there's a point in your life where that will happen. I honestly believe it. It's just part of getting older. How about Alex, you, Phil? I didn't you, ask you. Do you hold on to the rail when you're going down a flight of stairs? Phil? Oh, uh, yes. But uh, uh, do you shuffle uh, now, or do you take big gated steps when you walk? When I'm doing my walk, yeah. walk, uh, I take good, set, uh, good, st steady, steady stride because you're not. If I'm walking for exercise, which I'm doing, you're yeah. not going to get exercise by just you know mincing well, along. The reason I ask is that as we age, our IT bands shrink, and uh, when that happens, we don't have the gait that we used to have, and uh, you know people uh, even older than. Uh, yeah. You know they're not. They shuffle, and so little cracks or things in the sidewalk they'll fall, and then they break their hip, and and it's all downhill from there. Marjorie fell a couple of days ago, and and I think she broke a rib or something. 
Ooh. She's in a great deal of pain. I mean, uh-huh. I've got this woman who was more did more exercises than you can possibly imagine. She was the most exercise person I know. Okay, went to the gym five days a week. You know, did all that crap, and she is the biggest. Uh, she's falling apart. I mean, she every bone in her body is aching, and you know, she's got this problem and that problem, mm-hmm. and I'm at least I'm kind of just doing okay you know that's because of her association with gabnet jack yeah. falls down he's in the hospital yes uh, yes you're, you're, you're right falls down, you're right you're absolutely right you know by the way for people who want to listen to jack tonight forget it <laughs> he's not what gonna to jack he jack fell down again he did oh, shit. No. yeah and uh uh he wound up in the hospital he's there tonight and he'll be oh, let out no. tomorrow and he'll probably do a show tomorrow <clears> night but uh, it's, uh, you know, he's had neuropathy over the years because mm-hmm. he's had, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, diabetes. Yeah. And uh, that caused him neuropathy. I have neuropathy too, but I don't have diabetic neuropathy. So I have peripheral neuropathy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, you know, so he, he, he's been falling down a lot. And they have to take him to the hospital in the ambulance. So uh, that that's where he was last night, and that's where he's going to be tonight. So he should be back again tomorrow night. So I just wanted you people to know that, you know. But. Hey, Steve, a trucker, Steve, did you have uh, diabetes? Is that why you had the kidney issues, or was it unrelated? No, no to that's diabetes? unrelated. No, no diabetes. Just they they just failed. Yeah, they, they, sometimes people's did, were the did the kidneys go at any? Uh, was there an uh, idea that it, they went because uh, you um, uh, because you um, they went? Well, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, because because you were in the truck all the time. The truck caused it. Well, it could have been, yeah, the diet, all living on the road, to eat the food I was eating. Yeah, okay. Um, I tried to eat healthy as much as I can, but in a truck, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially if you, the truck can beat up your kidneys, too. Well, that's what I yeah. was thinking, you know. I mean, because, Yeah, that's true. You know, I mean, did, uh, you, did you drink enough liquid and things like that? Yeah, I probably drank too much Gatorade, though, too. That's what uh, I probably did. Wow. Too much of that. Uh, I haven't. I haven't had a Gatorade since I, my diagnosis. How are you? So, how are you doing? In, uh, getting a kidney? Uh, so far, I've um, had to get my two first two uh, hepatitis shots, mm-hmm. uh, one in each arm, and I'm supposed to get two more. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they go in next week or another couple weeks. Yeah. Um, okay. And after that. A month later, they'll offer me my third COVID shot. Yeah. And from there, there there should be a few more tests done, and hopefully maybe sometime next year I'll have a kidney. I don't know. Well, when. We're, we're all hoping for it for you. Good luck. You know, good luck yeah. with that. Yeah. Hey, listen, there's the theme. Thank you, Phil, for sticking around. I'm sure a lot of people are happy that you did. Uh uh, Kevin, thank you so much for having dropped by tonight. We appreciate that. Trucker Steve, always good to have you here. Jerry, call us more often. Good to have you here. You, I, you know, uh, and, I will. Yeah, please. Uh, 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 Tony, don't ever call me again. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That I'm means I'll call tomorrow. Just be me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how to get you to call. Don't ever call me again, Tony and oh, Jeff. No. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, All of you, would you uh, give a big wave goodbye? And I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And I'll probably be out of sync when I come back here. Let me see here. Am I out of sync? Who cares? Anyway, thanks, everybody. Let me get rid of them. Uh, There is no no intersection tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, uh, don't stay tuned for that. But we will play an old intersection for you in its place and uh, we hope that uh, uh, Jack will be back again tomorrow night in the meantime I'm all out of here yeah Uh, and as always I like to say uh, if you see her tell her I love her okay and by the way 
um, <laughs> you know, do us a favor. Wear a mask. And if you don't wear a mask, whatever you do, get vaccinated. Let's get herd immunity. See you later, folks. Bye-bye.